If you want me to continue with my work, it is crucial to support the channel via Patreon. Moreover, make sure to subscribe to Bobby's Perspective on Rumble. All the links are in the description box below. May Allah bless you all. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, slightly different video today. We're going to check out Nas Daily talking about Andrew Tate. His quote, Andrew Tate is a terrible human. Listen guys, I'm not here to take fear to anyone, but by his own admission, Nas Daily is no longer Muslim. I was born and raised Muslim. I prayed five times a day and on Ramadan I fasted for 10 years. I was taught Islam was the only way to heaven and I believed it. Then I started making non-Muslim friends. Christians said Jesus is the son of God and is the way to heaven. Jews said they were the chosen one. Hindus said there's not one God, there are millions. And my atheist friends <laughs> made fun of all of us. The more people I met, the more I realized everyone thinks their religion is right. And if one is right, then fundamentally everyone else is wrong, including me. That is when I stopped believing in religion and continued my belief in the idea of God and decided to create my own religion. It's called Nazism, in which I try to love myself and others to the best of my abilities. It's called Nazism. That word is narcissism. The reason why I play those clips is so we keep it in mind once Nas Daily starts talking about Andrew Tate becoming a Muslim. And now before we start the video guys, if you enjoy the content, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and check out the links in the description box below to further support. And now with no further ado, let's have a look. I want to I want to talk about this Andrew Tate thing cuz you mentioned Oh my oh god, my. let's go. Okay, yeah, let's No, I want to talk. talk. I've never seen a man in my life getting so excited to talk about another man especially with those crossed legs very suspect Wallahi you are gay. oh my oh god my. let's go okay yeah let's no i want to talk. talk about it because you're talking about conspiracy and Cringe. actual facts yeah you know? i no, never just... liked andrew tate okay explain from minute one why i thought andrew tate was a terrible human being why because he's manipulative and he's been able to manipulate both of you, unfortunately. No, he likes him, you like him. I, I liked him I before, was the like, by I, the way, I, I've I been watching his stuff from like, but I, I followed him on Instagram when he had 100,000. Like, so. If there's a guy that comes here and says, I'm the smartest man alive, I'm the most muscular man alive. I'm the best there ever has been, there ever will be. I'm the top. But, but I, I didn't think that's say the that. image thing. Yeah, but that's what that. said. As the woman said in the background, it's an image thing first and foremost. And I'm not here to defend Andrew Tate, but the point being is everybody has a brand, a certain way of presenting themselves. Nas Daily is presenting himself with a super smiley, cheerful cuck face to his audience in order to convey that he is very trustable, a very positive person. So everybody has their shtick. Who are you to judge? Thing. Yeah, but that's not that. Did he say that? Yeah, I, I follow know. him on Twitter. He says it every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is very no, true. I'm saying. <laughs> He's very the, uh, That's the definition of a hater. If you don't like him, why do you follow him every day on Twitter? On Twitter, on Twitter he writes to say that I am now a lady. We know no, no, that's no, no, a joke. No. Hold on, hold on. He does say he is the best, doesn't he? Let's say, okay, let's say I, it's a comedy. You know what? Okay. Fine. You know what, Andrew Tate? Apologies, Mr. Tate. <laughs> Mr. Tati, okay, <laughs> apologies. Well, okay, so you let's, say, let's say it's all a joke. Okay. He's so passive aggressive like a female, man. If you look at Conor McGregor, for example, hate him or love him, he will say he is the best. What does he mean with that? He is the best in his craft, which is fighting. I'm sure people that are runners, people that play tennis, people that play football and whatnot have uttered those evil, evil words as well, have said, I am the best. Andrew Tate's niche is red pilling young men, getting them out of the matrix, making young man successful and at that he is the best that is his claim instead of hating on him like a passive aggressive ex-girlfriend why don't you prove that you are better than him say i am i'm like a grandpa and i don't understand you no, we okay. need to know all the points what actually yeah. did happen is this the fuck the woman okay this girl no, had I'm, sex I'm, well just one second but i'm not gonna Hold agree on, with one that second, one second. I, I, this guy had sex with a woman when she told him no but i'm not gonna agree how, how do you know that how do i know CIA okay. agent. So if there is one, okay, one second, one Wait, second. Can, okay, I, can I finish? Can I finish? Okay. If there's one person that comes and says, Mo Vlogs assaulted me, yeah. I will say, like, maybe he didn't, maybe he did, we don't know. Mm -hmm. And I will give you the benefit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. I will give you the benefit of the doubt because I like you, but I hate and rotate, so I'm not giving him benefit. What are you saying here, man? You made very clear that you don't like the guy, and therefore you cannot imagine that he is innocent and therefore guilty. I'm guilty as John. Two people say What a weasel, man. Okay. 
If three, maybe you but, are an assaulter. But here's the thing. If 10 people say that, you are. Listen, okay? but here's the thing. So, but, wait a second. Yeah. 10 people the did that. Okay, so the there's scrabble. enough evidence to say there's something fishy here. Then I said, okay, maybe there's a conspiracy theory like your friends like to believe. Then the police got involved, yeah. okay? Then the police investigated him for 12 months. 50 people from the police force together saw the evidence that you did not see, and they all agreed. He you did not see. And he but trafficked it, people. But it, it's, now he's yeah, out. It's, it's a trial mm. right now. No, no, the charges came. The, tra the, the police is going with charges. But it's going, with tra it's going to trial. Got it. Fourth, you know, I've learned something. If it looks like a duck, if it squawks, squawks like a duck, if it sounds like a duck, <laughs> it is a fucking duck. <laughs> Andrew Tate is a duck. Investigative journalism, Andrew Tate is a duck. Why, why are we adopting a manipulated I'm, fake Muslim as our hero living in a fucking $10 million Bugatti, right? Which is completely un-Islamic to have a $10 million Bugatti, which is- Why? If Prophet Muhammad was alive today- So as I showed already in the beginning, Nas Daily made very, very clear that he is not a Muslim. Uh, are you religious? Uh, I'm spiritual. But now he's pointing the finger towards Andrew Tate, calling him a fake Muslim and we shouldn't adopt him. Who are you to speak on Islam? I understand this perspective, to be fair. Here, I come from an Orthodox Christian background. And when I saw certain Westerners converting to Orthodox Christianity, I felt as well that I hold the monopoly as somebody that is born into an Orthodox Christian family. This is our culture. And that is the exact issue here. Nas Daily, if anything, would be considered a cultural Muslim. However, now he believes that he holds the monopoly on Islam. He is going to tell you who is a right Muslim, who is a true Muslim, and who is a fake Muslim that you cannot have a Bugatti if you're a Muslim as if Nas Daily does not make money. So my information is public. So I have roughly five, five and a half to six million dollars right now. It's public. Okay, and this is this is what I love about you too. Since day one, you're so transparent about the money you make, the yeah. brand deals, yeah. how much revenue you're getting. The first time we talked, you're telling me everything about like, my life. All the numbers which no one does. No one does that. And that's what I don't like about creators sometimes. They're, they're too secretive. Hypocrisy at its finest. If Prophet Muhammad was alive today, he would look at Andrew Tate and say, this is the anti-Islam. I, I, but why? <laughs> well, I, I have nice guys, so am I anti-Islam? No, because... <laughs> Well, have nice no, you are not, bro, because I it like is, you. It is it's such a fun, I feel no, like I'm a better guess, Muslim now. Yeah. If he didn't adopt wow. this, I'm a Muslim and I follow Islamic rules and laws now, yeah, then I'll be like, okay, it's fine. You can have a Bugatti and preach this stuff. That I don't care. Mufti Nas has spoken. What are you even talking about, man? Are you all right? Andrew Tate accumulated his wealth prior to Islam. You do not know how much he gives to charity. You do not know his good deeds. And more importantly, you do not know his heart. He is a revert to Islam. He accepts Islam, Alhamdulillah, and now it is between him and Allah. Who are you to judge him? One more time. What a judgmental, little, passive, aggressive, feminine being you are. But to, to, to go and pretend to be Muslim, have sex with women, drink alcohol, and do materialistic crap all the time, which is everything is anti-Islamic, right? Yeah. I think that's just like Look. fake. All right, that's it. this is it for today's video. Absolutely ridiculous, especially what he said there in the end. Andrew Tate is sleeping with women. Andrew Tate is drinking alcohol and doing all of those material things. Andrew Tate declared that he stopped drinking alcohol once he became Muslim. I'm going to clear that last year you watched Tate Confidential. It was a booze <laughs> All we did was booze. Before you reverted, all we did was booze. So it's not to do with health benefits. It is to do with my reversion, religious connotations. I actually have a lot of respect for your negative convictions. I guess that concludes my investigation. And has he been talking about having sex with multiple women prior to reverting to Islam? Yes, absolutely. No doubts about it. However, since he reverted, he hasn't talked about it. Quite the opposite. He's been promoting marriage. The idea of loving someone and wanting to be with someone your entire life and supporting each other and being in love with each other is beautiful. You'd have to be a d to not believe in that. And yet again, who are you to judge, man? You've been in haram relationships. From my relationship with Aline, it looks like we have the perfect life. We travel the world, we don't have an office, we have enough money, we are in exotic places, eating amazing food. And finally, as Muslims, we believe that every child is born as a Muslim. We are born with our fitra and then our parents make us into Christians, Hindus, etc. Every human being is born as a Muslim. That is our belief. It should be yours as well. And this is why we call it reverting to Islam. So we as Muslims rejoice when a brother returns to the Dean. Moreover, 
Muslimah, when someone accepts Islam, all his sins are erased. So Allah has forgiven Andrew Tate. Who are you to judge? All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to further support this channel by Patreon, for example, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.